Hello and welcome to a little photo editing tutorial again, which will be very brief. I just want to show you one awesome filter in Photoshop, which I used on this photo. So let's have a look close. It's a fine art scene I photographed in the Bavarian forest some weeks ago. And if you look close here, those leaves in this pond just looks awesome. And the pond looks perfectly still and also very clean. So you see a little bit what's going on beneath the surface, so some of the rocks. But other than that, very clean. But that's not how it was, how I captured it. Now let me show you how it actually looked when I deactivate the final here. Yeah, that's typical. So if you photograph a pond, most likely it won't look that clean. You'll have a little, or not a little bit, actually in this case, a lot of particles also swirling around in the water and yeah see it's a pretty mess here so how did i remove all of that i certainly didn't just go in and clone everything this would have taken forever i mean i started to be honest but quickly realized it's just too much it would take me hours to clean it up but still if you look at the final everything's gone but just look at those areas beneath the surface they still show the detail they had before i mean they are blurred because beneath the surface and out of focus but still they're not completely blurred so just what's gone are those little tiny spots now i want to show you how you can quickly do the same remove such spots from your photos and yeah, keep the details intact and yeah this photo here is the perfect photo to show you that and yeah just look at that it's just crazy how much there is so let's just zoom in at this area where we have quite a lot of it and I now want to show you the filter I used. And this filter, I haven't used it for 15 years of using Photoshop. I'm not sure when it came in. I never used it up until now, but it's always good to look through the different tools in Photoshop because sometimes you find the one tool you never used, but which will just do the job you need to be done for the current image. So typically you use maybe reduce noise, medium, all that stuff. What I want to use is here, dust and scratches. So let's just click on that. And you already see some magic, but currently it looks more like it's just the blur filter, but it is not. Let's just bring down both of those sliders and I show you how to use it. So now focus here maybe on this one that's a bigger particle. What happens when I increase the radius here? How those particles are removed. And yeah, you should try to find one of the bigger ones you want to have removed. So down here, for example, and see how much you have to bump the radius to get those out of the image. And if you aren't perfect now, you already removed like 90 or 95% of the little spots, the rest, those you can then clone out. So let's just go with something like this, like 16. And you also see here, the leaves get blurred, but not just blurred, so you still have a very defined edge to those and that's quite important as I show you in a second. Now let's play around with the threshold. So let's check here what's beneath the water here. Those rocks, out of focus, leaves and whatever. So if I increase the threshold you see how it brings back some of those details while the little tiny spots are still blurred. So that's great. So you can first tune in the radius to remove the spots and then bring up the threshold to yeah, bring back the detail that you want to preserve. Also this rock here, for example, if I go down with the threshold, you see it's also blurred. I bring it up, you see there's again, all the detail beneath the water. How awesome is that? So let's see the before and the after. I'd say this is pretty nice. Now press OK. We still have to deal with those leaves. And yeah, for that, basically put a mask on the layer you just created. So I did this on a separate layer. So here's the original. And here's the layer without all the little spots. And now what you have to do, you have to go in and mask out the effect for the leaves and the stuff you want to preserve. But there's more you can do because we have some AI filters, not AI filters, AI selections here. And let's just see if we select the subjects in this case. For me, subjects are leaves, but let's see what Photoshop thinks are the subjects. And yeah, just look at that. This leaf selected, this leaf is not selected. Maybe we can do better if we, let's deselect, do a selection 
on the original because now those leaves, this one here for example, is much more defined. Let's see how the filter or selection now works. So it still didn't select the leaf, but the selection in those areas is much more defined now. So this is always something you can do. See how Photoshop applies selection on your filtered image or on the original, which is better, where it can detect the subjects better. Most likely it's on the original, but now we can go back and if I just press Alt, Delete, see what happens now in the mask. All the subjects are basically black now, which means the filter is not applied to those, but you saw the ones that Photoshop didn't detect, you still need to go in and with a black brush manually mask it out. But still, it's a pretty quick process and you don't have to be perfect. It's okay to go roughly around the edges because this is not where, if you look at this, too much of the dust was present and a little bit of those spots is okay. Also here we want to keep this detail. Just bring back some of the details throughout the photo. Also here around the leaves, otherwise it doesn't look natural. Also here, let's bring this back. But I think you get the idea. So just look at this part here before and after and how quickly I could do this cleanup. So now this is for me a fine art photo, while before there were a lot of distractions. It would have maybe been okay for Instagram, but certainly not for print. So for print, I need to get a really clean image. And yeah, that's what I have now. So I hope you found this helpful. Let me know in the comments if you knew about this filter before, if you've used it. If so, what's your typical use for it? I find it's a great filter to create such fine art photos where you have to get a very clean surface, but I'm certain I'll also find some other uses for it. It's just great that even after like 15 to 20 years of using Photoshop, I can still discover new things in the software. That's just awesome. So see you in the next one. Bye.